everybody, I'm going to show you a few more examples of me using the number rack just to make sure if you need help, you can always look at my videos, okay? So in this problem, I am going to ask kids to make 10. So we are trying to make 10, okay? And when you are doing this work, let me tell you, there are many different ways that you can make numbers using a number rack. So right now, I want you to brainstorm two different numbers that we could put together that equal 10. Hmm, what are two numbers that can come together to equal 10? So pause and think of some ideas. So some ideas that I came up with in my head were I could have 10 on the top, have zero on the bottom, and that could equal 10, right? I also could move maybe, hmm, let me think here, four on the top plus six on the bottom, and I would get 10. And then you might have come up with some other ways too, and that's a great idea. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of my beads over and show you. So I'm going to move four of my beads over. So I have one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to move six over like I came up with. So I know that there's five because there's five red on the bottom and five white. And five plus one equals six. So I'm going to count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Sweet, we made 10. Way to go, everybody. I'm going to clear all my work and start over. Another thing that I might, that your teacher might ask you to do or that's important to know is if you see numbers pushed over on, beads pushed over on your number rack, your teacher might ask you, how many beads are there? So think about this. If I moved these beads over, that would mean your teacher is hiding these other beads, which is kind of fun. I like when we get to hide things. They kind of challenge us. So right now, how many beads do you see? I see 10 beads because I know there are five red and five white on the top. If I asked you how many were hiding behind this, could you answer that question too? How many beads are hiding behind shade. Hmm. That would be 10 too, right? Five red and five white. So we are might be asked to make identify how many beads are pushed over. We might be asked to make equations, but we can definitely do it. And I love using a number rack. It helps me think about answer questions fast because I know there's always five red on the top, and five white, and five red, and five white on the bottom. And we can use this to add really, really quickly. So we're getting familiar using the number rack. Just take your time and keep working hard.